Continuing our short talks in James, tonight we will be specifically looking at verses 19 through 20 in James 1. That's 19 through 20 in James 1, which says, Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger, for the anger of a man does not produce the righteousness of God. Have you ever wondered what James is talking about when he says to be quick to listen? That's personally the first thing I wondered when reading this passage. What does he mean by that? When a person is quick to hear, it means they do not jump to conclusions before hearing the full story. It means that they wait and they listen and they observe to what someone has to say before having a reaction. And being slow to speak is the flip side of that. We don't blurt out the first thing that comes to our mind or say whatever we want without having tactfulness in any given situation. Our speech and what we say can easily have a negative impact on those around us if we do not have control over ourselves. We see in James 3 verses 5 through 6, it says, So also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts a great things. How great a forest is set ablaze by such a small fire, and the tongue is a fire, a world of unrighteousness. The tongue is set among our members, staining the whole body, setting on fire the entire course of life, and set on fire by hell. This goes to show the impact of our words that our words have on other people. And if we are not able, able to control our tongues, we could, also, we could even be condemned for eternity. This goes to show why being slow to speak and bridling your tongue is important. Our mouths get us into a lot of trouble. We profess to believe one thing, but then we are often betrayed by, one, by what comes out of our mouth. In Matthew 12, verse 34, it says, You brood of vipers, how can you speak good when you are evil? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The other part of verse 19 and going into verse 20 also says to be slow to anger. He is talking about controlling our tempers. What are the times where we lose control of our tongues? I don't think it's when we're at our most level-headed the hardest time to control our tongues is when we don't have control of our tempers. The times when we say the most regretted things in our lives are the times when we aren't thinking at all and just trying to quickly cut someone down with our mean words. Ephesians 4 verses 31 through 32 says, Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. Be kind to one another tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God and Christ forgave you. There is a reason God wants us to be slow to anger. It's because when we, when we are angry, we do not tend to act how God wants us to act. Micah 6 verses 8 says, He has told you, O man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God? And Galatians verses 5 through 20 verses 5 or sorry chapter 5 verses 22 through 23 says but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness self-control against such things there is no law notice how being angry and blowing up at your coworker for not doing the right job is not included in that list of ways to act god wants us to be peaceable and gentle and self-controlled because that's how you establish and maintain relationships with others and that's how you win people to Christ. 